Hello and welcome to this demonstration of UngaCam. Today I'll show you how to create parametric machining programs for the HomeEgg CNC machines using SolidWorks and UngaCam. To start with, we'll open up our test part here, which we've already created. This part has some machining on, as it turns out in this case, on the back side, and uh, we'll deal with that as we first set up our program. To create a new program, we simply go into Workpiece. We're asked if we want to copy an existing series or not, and then we're going to say no. We'll create a new MPR this time. UngaCam automatically creates a materials process and allows us to get into the details. In the details page, we in fact see that UngaCam has already determined the material uh, length, width, and thickness from the model drawn. In this case, we would like to machine on the other side first. Now, in fact, we want to machine everything on the other side. So we will go into starting position and flip the part over. UngaCam will always give you a visual representation of how the part is to be loaded into the machines to avoid any confusion. Uh, obviously in SolidWorks you can rotate the part from any side and it will maintain that position. Now to start with what we're going to do is we're going to add a, um, a route around the outside. This is going to be done with mostly um, vertical tools so let's deal with a vertical route. Uh, UngaCam automatically opens a detail panel giving us the default tools which are your WoodWAP defaults. UngaCam reads all those and then all we need really need to do is give it a starting position a direction to follow and we're going to tell it to use a select loop it follows the exact loop around the outside and we will save that and we now have our toolpath created for the outside route again going back to the materials clicking on it will always reset the uh, screen view to the as loaded in the machine view now let's deal with the uh, vertical drills we have six drill holes here we actually have a seventh one, but we don't want to drill this one. This is actually too large for uh, the drill bits. We're going to pocket this one out. So let's start with the vertical drills. In this case, I want to use all the um, holes on the face. My default settings for my min, my max diameters is anything between 0 and 8 millimeters. Uh, create a drill process for, and it will, in fact, determine the depth of each of the holes individually as this one uh, process in UngaCam is expanded. We also have on this part um, some horizontal drilling. Uh, so let's create our horizontal drill. In this case uh, we're going to use another feature of UngaCam where we can just indicate from a hole wizard uh, which uh, holes to drill. In this case I can see they're being highlighted I want to use hole wizard uh, uh, so or select hole number four. Um, it will determine the depth uh, dynamically from them and number of holes and obviously the um, and well in this case we'll use the auto tool select so it's an eight millimeter hole and everything's enabled. Finally we're going to do the vertical pockets which are on the top surface. Again I can select the surface I can select all pockets on the on the face in this case I want to give it a, a minimum diameter of um, 10 millimeters with no maximum so it'll create just these two pockets and will not in fact try to pocket these drill holes. The standard tool is the standard tool in this case is uh, 129 um, showing us here that it has not yet determined a, a, a radius or a depth but we've also not saved it yet. Going back into it, we can now see that we have an error because we don't have um, we don't have a depth selected. Now that we have an, uh, everything on this face, drill it down to this or pocket it out to that depth, we are now getting proper information, so we can see right off the bat that uh, whether we've made an error in our selections or not. And at this point, we in fact have a program. So let's just save that and we're going to drive it directly into into WoodWop. In WoodWop we can see that we we have a part dimensions as as given. We have uh, vertical drill holes indi individualized different radius. Uh, there's a depth, there's a diameter. We select a different one, the different diameter, same depth. Uh, in these cases we have 
drill holes horizontally and we have two pockets and we have our outside route. Now if we determine later that we actually need to make this in two different sizes with UngaCam that becomes very very simple. So let's just exit out of our programming side and let's just deal just with the sketch itself. I'm going to expand this sketch and determine that this um, this part should have been not 500 but 600 millimeters in size. I can reset that, reset the sketch. This drawing has been set for this uh, to maintain the spacing uh, equally from either side, so it's a parametric SolidWorks drawing or a, a properly defined drawing. In UngaCam, all I need to do is generate the NPR again. As we can see, the new length is 600 millimeters. Each of the holes has been adjusted. In particular, it's the route that has been adjusted. Just the legs that are affected have been adjusted. Let's do that again and make this a uh, significantly larger part, just to show that it's not being pre-done. Let's make this 800. Save that. Going directly into WoodWAP. There's our new part, new size, new contour, new everything, single click. This clearly demonstrates the parametric ability of SolidWorks is ideally matched with UngaCam. In creating NPR programs, you can create one program for any um, any design but you can have that design in any size you'd like. Thank you for spending the time with me today and please do check out ungacam.com for more information.